We're down here at Sandy River today, getting ready to go out this evening for some crappie fishing. Hopefully it'll be a successful trip for us. Today, folks, we're going to do something a little bit different. I've had a lot of people been asking me about these puddle jumper lures I'm always talking about. Well, anyway, today I decided what we're going to do. All we're going to use is puddle jumper lures only. No other lure is going to be used today. So everything we catch today is going to be caught on the puddle jumper lure. And I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes some of the lures that we'll be using today. So stand by and let me show you what we're going to be using. Sandy River Reservoir is located in Prince Edward County here in Farmville, Virginia. It's right off of Route 460. Like I said earlier, today we will be using strictly puddle jumper lures. This one right here is a baby shad pumpkin with the chartreuse tail. That's what I'm going to throw out. You had a lot of luck with that one, haven't you? I have. One thing I like about the puddle jumper lures, they're very durable. Sometimes I have fished a couple days on one little lure and not have to replace it and caught lots and lots of fish. Some lures, you may catch three or four fish on it, then you have to replace it. But puddle jumper lures are very durable. They come in some great color selections. And the main thing I like about them, they're made in the United States of America by USA. And this one right here I'm getting ready to throw out is a pearl with the red flake, baby shad. I've had some good luck on this one as well. Now Cindy's going to be using a baby shad with the curly tail in the bluegrass color. And also, she selected another pro baby shad with the curly tail. This is in the blue and gray color. Got the first fish in, a little small bass. Caught it on the pumpkin and chartreuse tail. Let's get him on back in the water. Bye bye. Got a little crappy. And that's on your. Uh... That came on the pumpkin and chartreuse. All right, Cindy's got another one on. Hopefully, this time she'll be able to get this one in the boat. I hope so. Let's see if we can catch him coming in. Yeah, I see him now. Caught that on the bluegrass one, I see. Woo! Oh, thank yeah. goodness you fell off there, buddy. He counts. <laughs> it's starting to pick up just a little bit. When you got water temperatures in the 90s, it's a little it's tougher to fish. Degrees of water temperature. Yeah. There we go. 
a nice one. And what you catch out in with, David? Caught that on a pumpkin with the chartreuse tail. And that pumpkin's been hot today. Cindy's got one coming in on the other pole this time. Let's see if she can. Be, oh yeah, she's got it. Bring him on in here. Oh yeah. Here you go, baby. He's a live one. Let's get him off and throw him back in. We're throwing all the ones back that we catch today, guys. Here you go. Keeping the action live. Oh, I love keeping that action live. And this is on that white pearl original puddle jumper, three inch. First time I've used this one. Well, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a beauty that's right a, there. That's a, that is a beauty. Wow. Let's see how, how long he is. He would definitely be a keeper. Oh, there's no doubt in that. He's almost, he's 11 and a half, close to 12. Yeah, I was gonna say he's about citation almost, no, just looking at citation's him. citation's 15. Oh, 15, okay, but he just looks so big. But it is a nice one. Mm-hmm. Let's send him on back. Bye-bye, buddy. Comes another nice one in. Thing slicky. <laughs> Swim away. Cindy's got one on the way in. Yep. Yeah. the line, but it's all right. All right, David got another one with a pearl with the red flake. Let's throw him back in and let's get fishing. David just got another one in. Pretty fish. See him? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, that makes a dozen. And what'd you catch that one with? That's that little, I think it's called a green glimmer. It's got a little green, little blue dot. There we go. Now we got a baker's dozen. This would probably be a keeper, I expect. Oh, yeah. I right, got another one on the bluegrass. Caught that on the bluegrass. He must like a little Bill Monroe, I believe. <laughs> oh, that a Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. Yeah. How about, how about, um, oh gosh, my mind just went blank. Rhonda Vincent's what I was thinking. Let me get it in here. You got one too? Yeah, I'll video you. <laughs> I'm trying to get mine in. Well, I'll take it just as soon as I get this one in. They got one on the front one too. I see. All right. All right. There's a raging Cajun coming in. Let me get the bluegrass. Oh, I think I that might that might have been what that was. Just shaking. You think so? Because he was all on that line. I don't no, you got one, don't you? That was a good little swipe. Just brought three in. Yeah. 
And Noble turned the camera off. <laughs> Liking this. All right. Oh! <laughs> Will you lose him? I lost him right at the boat. I don't know if this one is. That's the old bluegrass again, ain't it? I think the bluegrass and the uh, pumpkin with the chartreuse tail are the hot colors for this evening. They're definitely the hot colors. That looks like a nice one. Yeah, not a bad one. Nice. He'd have been a keeper. Definitely. All day, All day every day. Huh. Let's see how big he was. He's thing. a live wire. <laughs> 11 inches? No, he's a little over 10. Okay. Another nice one. What number will this make if we get it in here? I believe it's going to be 25. That's what I was thinking. So that's 25 for this evening. We've been over here just a little over two You hours. land in your hat. <laughs> just calm down, little fishy. We're not going to keep you. That's a nice one. That would have been a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Swim away. All right, that was 26. Let's see if we can get this in. You're gonna lost the last couple right here at the boat. I know. There we go, number 30. What are you gonna say? Woo! Caught him on that raging Cajun, didn't you? Got him on that raging Cajun. Hopefully Cindy can get this last one in the boat. I think after this one, we may call it a night. It's starting to get dark on us. If you can get this one in, that makes number makes number 35. 35. Well, David, this is ending our day fishing, our evening fishing. What do you think about the puddle jumper challenge? Well, we ended up catching 35 this afternoon, strictly using all puddle jumper lures. When we got here, it was a little past, I say 5.30. Now it is almost close to nine o'clock, so we've been out here a little over three hours. And it was hot when we first got here, extremely hot. The water temperature is showing about 90, close to 92 degrees when we got here. So, catching 35 fish this evening, I think that was pretty good. I think so too, I'm pleased. And we did lose several. So we'd have probably caught, we'd have had over 40 fish in the boat if we hadn't lost those. So, I don't think it was a bad afternoon. And just like the, the puddle jumper bumper sticker says, it flat catches them. Well, we're gonna head in for the night and call it a day. We ended up catching 35 crappie, or well, 34 crappie in one bass, actually. So, not a bad day out. It's always good to get out. Always. So, we hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you will take your time and go check out the Puddle Jumper Lures. If you look them up on the website, just go to google.com. You can type in Puddle Jumper Lures or Puddle Jumper Fishing Lures, and it'll take you right to the site. Like I said earlier, this company is based in the United States. Their home office is out of Arkansas. They are a nice product. I'm very well pleased with them. The thing I like about them, you can catch a lot of fish on just one lure. The only time I replaced the lure tonight was when I lost it. Other than that, all the lures we caught fish on, none of them were damaged. And 
we can use them again next time. We thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel, the Virginia Fun Seekers. That way you can keep up with the latest and greatest adventures. And we're going to have more fishing videos to come. Thank you for watching and God bless.